Good morning students, I am Pawan your science master. Today I would like to speak to 7th standard students. Students in the previous class we have talked about improve your learning section of the first lesson food components. With that improve your learning section the lesson is completed. I have given you only few answers from the list of the questions given in improve your learning section of the lesson. Uh, rest of the questions you just go through the questions you will understand and you will find answers for them and you try to answer you try to write the answers for those questions as well. And today I wanted to take you to next lesson that's acids and bases ok. Uh, before uh, going to know what is acid and base uh, let me give you uh, an illustration of mine that I experienced in my family yesterday. Yesterday we our family all together were having our dinner suddenly my son slipped some uh, part of the food on his shirt and made his shirt stained by the curry ok. I asked him to remove the shirt and uh, let it dry and I asked him to wash it tomorrow morning. And then today in the morning my son took the shirt and tried to wash the shirt using a detergent bar. And when he was washing the shirt when he was washing his shirt he tried to find the stain curry stain uh, curd on his shirt and he found it finally then he tried to rub the stain with the soap and when he was rubbing the stain with the soap actually the stain was yellow in color and when he started rubbing the stain with the soap he found the color yellow turned into red and my son got shocked and surprised and he came to me and asked me and why is this happened so why the stain yellow stain turned into red when I used this soap. Did you experience such experiences in your life children? I hope you also experienced in your life otherwise <coughs> you do one thing you take a waste cloth and you make it stained by a bit of curry or something in your house uh, or else you make the cloth uh, stained by turmeric and then you wash you try to wash it by using soap or surf and try to observe the color of the cloth and you please send me your observations in our whatsapp group ok. And uh, will you also uh, f observe the same uh, the turning of the yellow color into red or not that I wanted to know and you let me know that after you do this experiment and you, you post your activity in our whatsapp group and then uh, let me know what you have done and uh, that is one thing. And another thing the materials in the nature materials around us the materials in our surroundings can be classified based on their taste, based on their state, based on their shape ok. And here let us talk about the materials that are there around us with different tastes ok. The tastes and before that what you have to do is you have to make list of the tastes of the materials. Most of you might have felt different tastes of different food items. Can you name some of the tastes? Yeah, let me write the names of the tastes on the board. Tastes like, um, tastes like, most of you like this taste, I know. But <coughs> eating sweet items, uh, eating more, more eating more sweet foods is not good for health. It's a caution I'm giving you. And uh, sour, bitter, salt. spicy. I 
and what are these things I will explain later you just keep these things away uh, you just pay attention on these things. Children uh, serial number what you have to do is you have to write the names of the foods that are sweet in taste and name the uh, foods that are sour in taste and uh, bitter in taste, salt in taste, spicy in taste, salty ok. It is an adjective right, salt that becomes noun ok, salty. So, children I want you to draw this table in your notebook, please draw this table in your notebook and write at least 5 food items names here like this sweets uh, the foods which are sweet in taste and sour in taste bitter in taste salty in taste spicy in taste so after you make the table ready then i will give uh, i will explain in detail if you feel uh, any other tastes other than these you know sweet sour bitter salty and spicy you just extend the list of the tastes you know you just if you know ok children and that is it and then uh, after you make it ready I will ask you some of the questions you be ready to answer those questions children ok. Let me ask you the questions. Did you find any difference in the taste of raw and ripened fruit? Do you find any difference in the taste of raw and ripened fruit? Obviously, we find the difference. Yes, raw mango taste and ripened mango taste. Can you imagine the taste? Obviously, you can feel difference. Do some substances change their taste when added to some of other substances? Salt is one of the food ingredients and if salt is added we will definitely find the difference in the taste of the food. Add salt to lemon juice, how do the two together taste now? Add sugar to lemon juice, what change do you notice in the taste? Lemon juice is with a certain taste and when you add salt and sugar you will find the difference in its taste right ok. So, like this you can find the taste of different uh, food items. Is there any difference in the taste without sugar? Change their taste and uh, uh, in, in the same way and when you uh, when you see the changes of the tastes in different situations and I want you to understand what might be the reason for the taste of these food items ok. You, you are maybe feeling bored as I am teaching about food, food items, food ingredients, food substances and so on, but this is the matter that is little different than the previous concepts ok children. Now, I want you to think about what might be the reason for the taste of the foods. Is there any special thing in the food giving the special tastes of the foods and every food is unique. The foods that you can close your eyes and you can have it and you can say that what fruit is that, what food is that right and every food item is a unique food item and that has its own taste. Of course, some of the food items sweet taste, but there is slight difference you can if you keenly observe you can find slight difference in the taste. Of course, mango fruit may be sweet in taste and guava fruit uh, may also be sweet in taste but when you eat it definitely you will find the difference in the same sweet taste and at the same time sour, bitter, salty, spicy right. 
So what might be the reason? Is there anything in that foods giving a special kind of taste? Obviously, there is something okay, that is what might be that? That may be a substance that we have discussed in the previous class food substances same like that. Some of the substances are responsible for the tastes of the foods. Okay. Here the substances are classified acids and bases based on their taste. Okay. I have given this table as a project work right. I want you to do on your uh, I want I want you to do this table on your own and present in our WhatsApp group. How can we find that is an acid and how can we find that is a base huh? like that we will discuss in the next class children and this is for today and thank you for listening. Thank you one and all.